Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step video in which we will show you how to operate your speakers. The R6 and R7 have buttons on the front of the speaker for basic control. With the source button, you can switch to TV, Sound Connect or Bluetooth. The standby button is used to switch to standby mode. By pressing the play pause button, you can play or pause. The volume control buttons can control the volume level. The R5, R3, R1 have an integrated display to show the current status of the speaker. The OLED display in the R5 or the R3 will show the current status. If you have a R1, you can check the status by the indicator. In order to operate the R5, R3, R1, you can use the top panel of the speaker. If you want to start playing the music, just tap on the top of the speaker. Just tap at it again to pause. By tapping the top again, the music restarts. If you want to go to the next song, just swipe from left to right. Or if you want to return to the previous song, swipe right to left. You can also control the volume with the plus button. By holding the button, the volume will increase quickly. Tap the mode button to switch between Bluetooth, TV Sound Connect and Wi-Fi. If you're a user of Samsung Gear S, S2 or Apple Watch, you can easily control your speaker with your smartwatch device. Start the Samsung Gear app on your smartphone. Select Samsung Gear apps in the menu and search for the Samsung Multiroom app. Now install the Samsung Multiroom app on your Gear S. Run the Multiroom app on your Gear S. You can see the Now Playing screen. Swipe to go to the volume screen and swipe again to go to the speaker list. Select the speaker you want to control. Now you can play or pause music and skip or rewind the music. If you want to see the music cue, touch the song title. That's it. You've just learned how to operate your speakers.